but I am just coming in from Good Friday service and it is just such a joy to go into the house of God and to take a moment of reflection to think about the sacrifice, the price, the agony, the extent of what Jesus has gone through just to provide me with redemption. Amazing plan of God. How he has executed that to the glory and honor of God. How he came into the earth and emptied himself of his glory so that he could take on human form to pay the price for mine and your redemption. And as I thought of that and I'm reflecting on the, the, the planning of God, the institution of the Old Testament sacrificial system and how in the plan of God it was designed to be a type of Christ, a shadow, a symbol, a type of Christ that would finally be fulfilled in him on earth. The old sacrificial system, the old Levitical priesthood, the old plan of atonement, all of those things that were done uh, temporarily were a type of Christ. Even the Ark of the Covenant, the, the structure of the Ark of the Covenant, the external structure, uh, the inner layers of wood and outer layers of gold speaks of his humanity. Wood overlay with gold speaks of his humanity and his divine nature. And when we think of him offering himself on the cross, he was fully man and fully God. And we had a discussion today. The question was asked, was Jesus on the cross as a man or was he on the cross as God? And the answer is, he was on the cross as fully man and fully God. One, God in his divine nature does not have blood. Man in his human nature cannot provide forgiveness. So Jesus Christ being on the cross had to be fully man and fully God because he needed human nature to die to shed blood for the redemption of man because where there is no shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. And then it needs the divine nature of God to forgive sins. So yes, my friends, he needed both natures to be on the cross so that he could die, shed his blood for you and my redemption and also to forgive our sins. So today we celebrate and we reflect on what Jesus Christ has done to pay the price for our redemption. And my friend, it was a heavy price he had to pay, but he did it for you and for me. And I hope today you will celebrate in reflection and in retrospect, the goodness of God and the price he has paid for your redemption and be thankful because now you are no longer a people without hope, lost and separated from God. But now you have been reconciled to God through what Jesus Christ has done on the cross for you. I hope you will celebrate that. And if you have not yet given your life to him and have not yet accepted his gift on the cross, it's time to do it. Do it now. He did it for you. Not only that, but we are anticipating the Sunday on the Resurrection Sunday when he actually came from the grave to give life to those who were dead and trespasses and in sins. So the Resurrection Sunday matters and I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are as well.